Hi. Every four years, the Olympic Games are the world's most popular sporting event. But what is the history of the Games? What really happened in Olympia over 2,000 years ago? The Games were born in the year 800 BC, in the religious sanctuary of Olympia in Greece. At the time, Olympia was not really a city, but rather a great sanctuary dedicated to the god Zeus, in honor of whom the Games were held. The event was therefore as much a sporting event as it was a religious festivity. While they might be the most popular, the Olympic Games were not the only games in ancient Greece. There were in fact over 300 of them, the most important ones being the Olympic Games and the Isthmian Games, in honor of Poseidon, god of the sea, the Pythian Games in honor of Apollo, and the Nemean Games. The games were organized around a four-year cycle, which was called an Olympiad. The entire chronology of the ancient Greek world was based on that four-year unit of time. The games were held during the first year of the Olympiad and were open to any wealthy male Greek citizen who wished to represent his city. It wasn't until the Roman occupation that the games were opened up to other countries. The events were divided into two categories, the equestrian events such as chariot races with two or four horses, and the athletic events such as foot races, pentathlons, wrestling, boxing, and pancreas fighting, a combat sport not unlike the free fighting sports of today. The pentathlon consisted of the disc throw, spear throw, long jump, wrestling, and a foot race around the Olympic Stadium. The first official games were held in the year 776 BC, and it wasn't until the 7th edition of the games that the winner, called the Olympic champion, would receive a laurel, a red wool ribbon, and a palm tree branch. The Olympic Games became a very prestigious event, and a competitor's victory was a source of great pride for his city. As of 500 BC, most of the athletes were now professionals covered with gifts and honors, and some of them would go from city to city, driving the crowds crazy. And so it was that when the six-time foot race champion, Astylos, left his city of Croton for Syracuse, there was a great turmoil in his city, his statue being destroyed and his house transformed into a prison. It was in the 4th century BC that the Olympic Oath was written down, an oath containing no fewer than 14 points, in which were stipulated the facts that married women were not allowed to attend the games, that the games were open only to morally correct citizens, that it was forbidden to try and kill or intimidate one's opponent, that any and all attempt at bribery would be punished by whipping, and that the competitors were not allowed to complain about the public or the judges. After the invasion of Greece by the Roman Empire, the games were kept and the Roman emperors were quite fond of the games, some of them even participating in them. However, the Christianization of the Roman Empire during the 4th century AD was the end of this pagan tradition, and in 393 AD, the emperor Theodos I followed the advice of the Archbishop of Milan and cancelled the games indefinitely. The Olympic Games will have lived for over a millennia before disappearing for over 1,500 years, since it wouldn't be until the end of the 19th century that Baron Pierre de Coubertin would pull the games out from the ashes and create the Olympic Games we know and love today. But that is another story.